Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, if you didn't know, and this is Plant Dose Woman. All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some recent plant purchases of mine. Most of them are fairly common, fairly affordable. There's a couple fancier ones in here, but when I moved into this house, I knew that I wanted to purchase some more common plants. I've got some really big ones over here to kind of fill up the space more. I wanted to add, instead of all my plants being in one room, you know, shoved all in one corner, I wanted to fill out my house a little bit more. I do have natural light throughout the entire house. So I wanted some more common plants to fill up the living room and the dining room and the kitchen, etc. So I'm really happy with all of these. I have been loving all of them and I wanted to show it to you guys. So I hope that you enjoy. If you do, give this video a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe if you have not already. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's where I post probably too much. <laughs> Daily stories and photos and everything. Um, my dogs, my food, my life. So if you want more content, definitely check out my Instagram. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna go in any specific order. I'm just gonna grab and go. Um, but the first one sitting right in front of me here is this beautiful red Maranta. Look at how full this thing is. This was $14 at Walmart. And I, like always, was just shopping at Walmart. I was getting some groceries, just getting some stuff that we needed and I just popped by and my Walmart had not restocked in months. Like I was like, are they ever gonna get indoor house plants again? I keep seeing everybody finding these really crazy rare plants, not mine. However, they finally restocked. Um, nothing crazy or rare, but they did have some really beautiful full house plants. This thing is so beautiful. I had to pick it up. I'm not, I always said I'm not a fan of the red one. I like the red one. I just prefer the lemon lime Maranta more, but anything this full and beautiful, I love. Come on. I mean, it's it's beautiful. I think it's so beautiful. I just said that a hundred times. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think the red veining is so beautiful is what I was trying to say. Um, and yeah, I think it is just slightly different, but I do love the growth pattern. Oh God, don't die. I love the growth pattern of a Maranta and just how it kind of just, in, yeah, just grows every which way. It's random and messy and I love it. It just takes over the shelf that it's on. So yeah. Okay, next up, this plant looks a little sad because it's in desperate need of a drink, but this is a Pelionia, and I don't know the exact variety, but if I figure it out, I'll put it on the screen. Um, I got this at Plants and Planters, which is a local nursery that you guys have seen me showing you guys before in a tour, and I definitely talk about it. So it's not normally so droopy and sad. It will bounce back, I promise. Um, but the leaves are so stunning. Let me see if I can kind of show you how the leaves look. They are just really beautiful. They're like a matte finish almost. I've always said like the NARS makeup packaging, like that soft matte finish. That's kind of how these leaves are. And they're just really, really beautiful. This one has a really just wild wonky growth pattern as well. It kind of just grows all over the place. I have it up in a hanging basket. Um, and again, when it's watered, it's definitely more <laughs> lively. It looks a little droopy, um, but yeah, I think it's really beautiful. I want to say, I want to say this was between $15 and $20. Don't hold me to that, but I know it wasn't very much. And yeah, I just had to pick it up for the price. I thought it was really cool and honestly really different. I never see anybody talk about these. And so yeah, I liked it and I picked it up. <laughs> All right, next is this beautiful, stunning, gorgeous philodendron Brazil. First of all, you guys know I love Brazils. I have a huge one right over here. And this one might be the prettiest one that I have come across in person. There is so much variety in these leaves. It has a full yellow leaf. Like these, they're so beautiful. Let me see if I can find one of the really cool ones, but just every, oh, this one. Oh my gosh, look at this leaf. Like it's like gray, I can't even, I'm sure it's not showing up as beautiful on camera as it is in person. But first of all, look at this thing. It is so full. I picked this up at Walmart with the Maranta and this one was 14 as well. I mean, come on, come on. I'm gonna buy this every time. Like I'm gonna have a hundred of these in my house and I'm gonna be 97 and just have, a Brazil room, I don't know, but I'm, I can't not buy this. Like it's so 
beautiful and it's again just the yellow it's just much more vibrant the yellow is much more vibrant on this than my other one my other one has more of a lime green where the yellow is and this one is just like truly yellow if that makes sense um yeah need not say more it's stunning and yeah this leaf ooh, i'm obsessed i love it so much i yeah i cannot say more about it it's beautiful Okay, next is this beautiful Bird of Paradise. It's gonna be very hard for me to get this in frame, um, but this is the newest leaf here. It is so beautiful. Honestly, every leaf was just in such good shape. Every time I see Bird of Paradise, I got this at Home Depot, by the way, and every time that I see these, they're always ripped, and I know that they rip when they're more mature and wind hits them, I got that. That's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like, ripped from people like ramming into it and like the workers moving them around I don't know but like damaged ripped they're always just in horrible shape and I've been wanting one for a while I used to have one that I got from Ikea and it got mealybugs and it was right in the beginning of my plant journey and it freaked me out and so I got rid of it <laughs> or shall I say let it die slowly um but yeah I've been wanting a new one since that happened and I'm so happy with this I think it's so beautiful. This has two plants in it, if you can see that. So it does have two full plants and this was $25, which I think is a really good price. And again, for how healthy it is and how large it is, I'm gonna set it down because it's making me winded. I think it's such a good, I think it's such a good deal. And it also lives right behind me, back here. There we go. <laughs> okay, next, something a little bit more exciting is this adorable little Hoya Curtisii. I have been wanting one of these for a while. I think that they are so adorable and I keep seeing everybody find them at Lowe's and Home Depot. And so I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I wanted to get this like last summer and I was like, no girl, just be patient. If you hear this squeaking, it's my chair, sorry. <laughs> I was like, no girl, be patient. You will find a big <laughs> pot of it at a Lowe's or Home Depot. Okay, well that didn't happen and I got impatient. Are we shocked? I'm not shocked. Um, and Steve's Leaves, obviously you guys know Steve's Leaves is local to me and they had these available and I bought one, needless to say. I purchased this when I purchased all of the begonias and honestly, just looking at it up close, they're so, they're just so cool. I'm sure it's like not wanting to focus for you guys, but just the speckle on these, they're just really pretty. Honestly, they give like a, like Dyskidia, Dyskidia, I don't know how you say that kind of vibe, they look like that, or even a string of hearts kind of vibe. They're just very different from any other Hoya that I have. Um, and especially with the splashing, I I love it. I haven't noticed it growing too much, but now that I'm really staring at it, there are some little baby leaves coming in. So that's very exciting. Um, I don't know how much I paid for it. I will put it on the screen for you guys. I don't think it was a ton, um, but I can't quite remember, but I am really happy with it and I look forward to watching it grow. It is definitely starting to trail over on this side. So yeah, you all know, by the way, now that I bought this, I'm gonna find it at a big box store. Come on, you know, that's just what's gonna happen. But I'm still really happy with it and I love it. Next up, again, from that same Walmart trip is this beautiful neon pothos, um, or pothos, if that's how you say it, I say pothos. And I think it's beautiful. Of course, I think all of them are beautiful or I wouldn't have purchased them, but I don't have my own neon. I have a neon one at my office that the office purchased. I do take care of it, but I haven't had my own in my house. And I'm like, you know what? Why? <laughs> Why not? And since I was wanting to buy more common plants to fill the space anyways, and I thought that this one was really beautiful. There are a couple leaves that have a little bit of damage, but as we know, these things grow. So I am not too worried about it. Um, this one was 14 as well. And yeah, I just think it was a nice, full, beautiful pot that's starting to trail. So I went ahead and picked it up and I'm really happy with it. Okay, apparently I was on the hanging plant trend because I bought so many. Um, this, <laughs> scary as it may be, is an ivy. And yeah, I've kind of written these off because, well, spider mites, <laughs> hello. Um, but I was at Tom Thumb, which is a grocery store here. And this thing just had some of the biggest leaves. Like, look at this leaf, it's huge. It's so big. Um, yeah, I just had these big full leaves. It was such a full pot. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this thing is like huge. 
um, and it was $14. It was such a good price. So I picked it up. I've had it for about two, two or three weeks. Knock on wood, no spider mites yet. I am fully willing to put this outside though. So if it starts trying to play with me, it will not be living inside. And it does live in a room by itself because I'm just so paranoid. And I know that every time I have purchased one of these, they have gotten spider mites. So I do think they're so beautiful though. Like my mind just loves an ivy. I, I think they're so beautiful. I know I'm saying that a hundred times, but like stunning. Okay, here's the tea though. Um, I know what you're gonna say that this looks like mealybugs. It's not mealybugs. I'm 100% aware of what mealybugs are. There is like this weird white stuff growing. And yes, at first glance, this looks like mealybugs. I know it does, but it's not. It's like a crystally. It's okay. <laughs> this is so random. It's not mealybugs. And it's also not like the sugary, like crystally substance that gets on plants. I'm aware of both of those things. That's not this. This is like crystally formations that are also like attached to the plant, like wet, like part of the stem. Does that make sense? Hopefully I'm trying to kind of zoom you guys in. I'll add some footage in, how about that? Um, of what it looks like. I don't know what it is. It absolutely freaks me out. It looks like mealybugs, but it's not. And it's everywhere, all over the vines. And so, yeah, I'm extra paranoid about even having it in this room right now, so I'm gonna put it down. But yeah, I do think it's really beautiful, and hopefully you guys will tell me that that's not that big of a deal. Hopefully. But yeah. Okay, why is, why is Bubba Sparks in my head right now? <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, next up is a spider plant. Okay, what? I did not own a spider plant until just now. Now a spider plant was my first house plant purchase ever years ago, but since that time I have not purchased one. I think I did get one at the very beginning of last year and killed it. It wasn't healthy, it was like a rehab type of situation, but I haven't just purchased a healthy spider plant in so long and yeah, this one just spoke to me. First of all, it's all green and just really full and beautiful. And then it had all of these babies already. I don't know if you guys can see, like so many babies attached to it. Um, it's even flowering. It's got that beautiful little flower right there. Um, yeah, this was, I believe, $9.99, I'm not sure. I purchased this at Callaway's, which is a local nursery, but it is from Steve's Leaves. So local nurseries around here, some of them have a little Steve's Leaves section um, because they're local. I'm assuming, I don't think anybody else's does that, but <laughs> that is where I got it from. And that's why I really wanted to get it. I know Steve's Lee's plants are so healthy and I was like, well, might as well. Also, I just think it's so cute. Like it's such a full little bouncy, it's a small pot, it's in a six inch pot. So it's not big, but I feel like it's so full that it just fills out the space nicely that I have it in. I do have it on my basket wall. I'll insert a picture here for you guys, but I think it looks so pretty and I love it, no regrets. So cute, also so easy. I know everybody says that, but like this thing, I've done nothing to it. Yeah, it's beautiful. You guys, I have the damn Degrassi theme song stuck in my head right now. Yeah, Degrassi, we're kicking it old school. I've been rewatching it and now I can't stop singing. You know, whatever it takes. I know I can make it through. Oh, what a jam, that is a jam. Mm. What a song. Okay, last hanging plant is this Monstera Adansonii narrow form. This thing is a bush. She's huge and thick and luscious and I love her so much. Um, I do have a narrow form up in my office, but again, it's an office plant and it's not my own and I wanted my own. And of course I do have my big wide form that I've taken 5,000 cuttings from, but not a narrow here in this house. So I decided to pick this up. I'm really glad that I did. The leaves are like honestly huge. like. This has some big leaves on it for just a hanging pot of it. It's not climbing or anything. And yeah, there's so many little holes. It's just beautiful. I had to pick it up. I've taken so many cuttings from this already because I'm doing this very interesting propagation video that will be coming soon. Um, but yeah, these grow fast. They are prolific. They are beautiful and I love them. Can't recommend them enough. We'll probably buy another. I do prefer the wide form, I won't lie, but I also love the narrow form and it's nice to have variety. You know what I'm saying? Let's not discriminate against Dad and Sonia. They're all beautiful. I saw something recently where somebody was like, I don't get the hype on Sonia. 
Why not? Why don't you get the hype? Because I get the hype. I invented the hype. These are beautiful and I love them. Okay, two more plants. One is huge. Let's just take over the whole screen, shall we? Bum, ba -da -da. Ba -da. Like, I can't, I don't exist. Like, can I lean back? I don't know what you guys can see. Look at this thing. It's huge. It's huge and it's shiny and it's luscious and it's beautiful. Look at this. I'm obsessed. This is so pretty. Okay, let me set you down. So, oh my God, I can't even, I can't even get it in frame. It's so huge. Um, okay, this piece lily. Um, I'm thinking of the exact variety and I can't think right now, but I'll put it on the screen. But it's massive. Like, look at this. Like, these leaves are huge. This is not the everyday piece lily you get at Home Depot. It's something else. The leaves are a little bit wider um, and more beautiful in my opinion. But yeah, I don't own a piece lily. What? I've never owned a piece lily. Shocking. I have owned a variegated one. That's it. And I did kill that. <laughs> I hate myself. Um, but again, it was at the beginning of my plant journey and I didn't realize that they need a lot of water and I'm an underwaterer. So that's what happened. Now we know. Um, I've never owned just, you know, a standard green, beautiful piece lily. And honestly, I thought they were a little like funeral plants <laughs> or like overhyped. I don't know. I just didn't really understand the, the vibe on them, but now I do because they take up a huge space. They fill a whole corner. They're jungly and beautiful and they're easy. These are easy. Okay. It's going to tell you when it needs water, you water it. It's great. Um, yeah, need not say more. They're beautiful. Pick you up one. <sighs> not to be alarmed but I'm 87 years old and I think I just threw my back out moving that piece lily. Plant mom problems. Ah! All right, you guys, last but definitely not fucking least, if you know what I mean. This is a beauty. This plant, this plant, this plant. I'm obsessed with it. I'm terrified of it. I'm certain that I will kill it. I really hope that I don't and I might be depressed if I do. You know those type of plants? Well, that's her. Here she is. This is a philodendron McDowell. Oh, don't break, dear God. It is a one leaf beauty. Look, look at, first of all, that is twice the size of my skull. Okay, huge, rather large, if you will. And I just cannot. This is like what I envisioned my Gloriosum looking like, like just this huge pillowy, heart-shaped leaf that is so just, 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 just look at it. Just look at her. I need to name her. I don't really, I don't really name my plants. I know people do that. I, I don't. Um, but I, I feel like she deserves a name. Like she's majestic as fuck. Let's be honest. Um, here's the situation. I have her very long stem in this <laughs> thrifted glass container. She is in perlite right now. And I am not the most familiar with propagating a perlite. Like, yes, I've propagated a maranta or pothos, but never like trying to develop a full on rare plant in it. So it's just a little nerve wracking, okay? Um, she does have a new growth point. I don't know if you guys can, can you see that right here? She's got a new growth point coming out. Maybe y'all can see through, no, no, you cannot. There's a ring light, sorry. Anyhow, there is a new growth point right there coming out and she has her little stem down there. The roots didn't look great when I got it. Um, they weren't bad, but some of them were really brown and there just wasn't very many. So um, the person I bought it from recommended putting it in perlite. So that's why I did this. And that's why I'm nervous just cause I've never really done it before. Um, but there is definitely still moisture in here and I am seeing a root peek through right there. And that makes me really happy. So hopefully Trying to peek around and see if I see any more roots. I don't see any other roots, but yeah. I've only had her about three weeks or so, so hopefully she does really well. I feel like I'm rambling, but this plant is just so pretty. Oh my God, it's like everything. It's everything I've ever wanted in a plant. Like honestly, right? Like I'm not being dramatic, that is beautiful. I feel so lucky to have her. I feel so blessed. I just love her, I wanna hug her and like look at her every day. I will say though, on to another serious topic. I've never felt like this 
about a plant. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not like so obsessed I can't function. It's more like it was expensive. I'm not sure if I can care for it. I felt like maybe I made a mistake. Does that make sense? Like, have you guys ever felt like that? And genuinely, I feel like this plant has caused more anxiety than joy, which is the first time I've ever really experienced that. Like truly like, oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna kill it. Like it stresses me out a little bit. That was the first couple weeks of owning it. Now I have settled down and I'm like, look, it's a plant. If you kill it, you kill it, you know? Also, you're not gonna kill it. Have a little faith, you know? Like it's okay. But that's where my little all over the place Gemini mind has gone. Um, and now I feel happy about it again. So yeah, rambling over the Lodendron McDowell, beautiful. Okay, you guys, I have straight up filmed this outro like 87 times. So I'm just gonna, we're doing it. I keep talking over and blah, blah, blah. I can't, I can't function right now. So I'm gonna stop filming. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna stop filming. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you would comment down below and let me know which plant was your favorite. Let's chat down in the comments, shall we? Also subscribe if you have not already and make sure to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Bye.